Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I purchased this in a group buy. You can see the nail mail video that I posted yesterday. I'm just coming on here to um, remind you guys, if you're interested in anything that I show on here, please Google it. Um, as much as I want to get back to you guys, life gets in the way. Sometimes I get comments, sometimes I don't get comments. I get notifications. I don't get notifications. So please, if you're really interested in something, Google it. Also, a lot of these companies have Facebook. So reach out to them. And uh, thank you for tuning in. I'm re-uploading this video because I noticed that the edits didn't uh, get translated into the file when I used my iMovie. So keep watching. Alright guys, uh, welcome back. As you can see, I've been busy swatching because I've got nail polish everywhere. So please check out video number one and video number two. This is going to be the very last video. This is going to be on the Conad Halloween plate. It's the plate number 17. These do not come with a protective film. So the only prep is clean it with alcohol just to make sure that if there's anything in transit you're getting rid of it. If you saw my previous videos, which I highly request that you please watch them so you can see how annoyed I got. So this tamper is awesome if you have short nails. If you have long nails like me, you can see right there, come pick up rolling, anything, my nails are going to be in the way. They got in the way of the pickup. So there's nothing that I can do about that. Also, you house the scraper that comes with it right here. <laughs> See that? It, it completely fell right out. It fell the other way. So you house it here. See? That's where you keep the scraper, but then it, it falls right out. So the stamper is a cute stamper it's a nice stamper I gave it a 9 out of a 10 it's adorable it's soft it picks up great it's tacky definitely tacky it's just not good for people with long nails if you are out there and you've got long nails um, maybe swap this head and that's gonna be my very last video swapping this head in another holder to see if that will work because it's a hot mess trying to pick up. So let's keep going. I'm gonna go for the jack-o'-lanterns and I'm go for the white now because have, that's the majority of the swatch sticks that I have are white. This nail polish is beautifully pigmented. That was a bad scrape up right off the bat. Oh, but it's not bad if you've got a good nail polish, stamping polish. Hello. How cute. Wow, it's picking up even on the two little dots on the nose. Can you see that? Oh, oops. My zoom is having issues. See the cute little dots on the nose? This is so adorable. This is so adorable. So let me clean the stamper. Um, this is such a cute little plate. Please watch my other videos because they funny. At least I think they are. See, I'm having better luck with these images. The pickup of these images. And it's probably because they're thicker. See? So cute. Let's clean this up. I really do appreciate you guys hanging in there. And watching the videos with me. So you know what? Let's do this. 
let's do this. It picked up beautifully. Oh crap, you know what? I need to... Please don't try on me. Please don't try on me. I also don't like that the stamper casts a shadow like you guys saw right there. And this is how sticky it is. There's stuff there that's getting stuck to it. I'm holding this extra long because I took a while to get it to the swatch stick and this polish dries up super fast. How cute! Now imagine that as a fringe tip. Okay. This image, oh how cute is that image? I may have to switch over to my other stamper uh, because I just I just not having any luck with this little stamper. See, sometimes you gotta say you're not having luck with it because it'll get threatened and then do what it's supposed to do. There's a little cat down here. The witch. And here is the tree. I think the stamper just wanted to make a liar out of me. This one's very detailed. But no, if you saw the other videos, you saw my struggles. Oh jeez, now it's picking up beautifully. So there we have it, the cute little witches, the owl, not the owl, the bat. And then here, on the head, you can see the, basically the ass of the witch. But yeah, these, these plates, these Conad square plates, highly recommend them. Um, if you've got average nails. If you've got long nails, not really, because it's not gonna do your full nail. It's wide, but it's not long. I wish they had done it long. Let's check out the spider web. I got Gwen Stefani's spider web song on my head now. Oh my goodness, how pretty. It, 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 I just wish they had a longer handle for the stamper. That took too long because I showed you guys, but that's okay. It's a spider web. It's meant to be going every which way.
I also wish I had gone with the yellow one because I feel like this one cast a shadow when you're putting the image on the nail. I really wanted these are just all so cute. It's all so cute. Just want to make sure it's all covered beautifully. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. See, I just have the issue of picking it up with my nails. I didn't get the whole thing. Which is super annoying. But it's still pretty nonetheless. You get the tree, the hat, the jack o' lantern, the moon, the cat, a witch, a ghost. Adorable image. And I like that they left the jack-o'-lanterns where you can color it in. Do a little bit of reverse stamping. I am in love with this plate. This plate and the other plate. The, uh, I think it's plate number 17. The one with the... The one that I had issues with. Oh, how cute. Oh my goodness, how freaking cute is this image. It's got like <clears throat> it's got like a buffet of everything. I'm trying to get the witch and the ghost. And the house. You guys see that? Such and the cat and the spider. Oh, I am loving this plate. Yeah, so see. There's your witch, there's your castle, or your haunted house, the ghost, the spider, the moon, a little cat up there. Love it. Loving this. So just for, you know, kicks, I'm going to try a different polish. And it's going to be watered down, so don't freak out. I'm just trying it. Just want to see if it will work with it. I know it's watered down. I know it's not a stamping polish. That's the whole point. I want to see if it will work with it. So Wet n Wild in Black Cream. So we're going to try this image right here. I am such a messy stamper. Well, I'm glad this plate made a liar out of me and that it worked with the little stamper. I'm just annoyed that it's not long nail friendly. So since this is not a stamping polish, it is brand new. I just opened it. I'm going to be very generous with it. Just to see if it'll work. Where is my scraper? It's in my hand. Jeez oh, Louise. Oh, it looks pretty. And it worked, you guys. It worked, it worked, it worked. It's not going to be as dark as the Conad, but... on it a little harder make sure that it's sticking and there you go there are the bats and the hands I didn't manage to get the spider web maybe just a little bit unfortunately like if you guys can see if this will focus 
see the nail is longer than it's spazzing out. The nail is much longer than the image. Like, let's say your cuticle area was right here aligned to where the hands are, right? Look at all this gap you've got here. So that's why I couldn't, I tried, but I couldn't really get the spider web in. So I'm glad I got three of these plates. I like them. Well, I like two of the ones that I got. Um, let me get see if I can sell the one from the kit. Uh, but I'm glad I got at least two so I could try it out and let you guys know, you know, if you've got longer than average nails, you're going to have to double stamp. Unless it's like <clears throat> an image like this, then you may not need to. I'm going to be very generous with this. It still worked. You guys saw it, but it's not going to be as pigmented as the Conad. Oh, see? See? Pretty. I mean, it, it's a super clear, still clear stamper. You can see, like, my hand lines. I know that's not going to stamp on, on a nail now. But we can try on the roll. Just to give you guys an idea. How cute is that? So I guess we could try. These last two images. The lettering looks like it's going to be a challenge for me because of my nails. Pick up. It looks super pretty though. Oh, cool. Wasn't that bad at all. Not that bad at all. Let's see if I can do it here. You can see Halloween, Scream, pretty cool. That was me. I, I messed up the top. See, I had some left over on there. But oh, look at that. Uh, Poison potion, a little broom, trick or treat. Wow, that picked up nice even with the non stamping polish. The uh, the wet and wild. That's how nice these are etched. Let's go for the last one. Call it a day. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate your support. So please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I really do appreciate you guys. 
important. Let's do the last one. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You guys see that? Awesome pickup. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Have a good week. Bye. That's not bad at all for white and wild polish.